Welcome to Pasadena, California, and the grandest stage in all of college football. And today, the home opener for the UCLA Bruins at the Rose Bowl. We believe we've got a great one in store today, and we've got a team that makes it into the top 25. Now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. As we'll see, the number 16 team in the country, the Arizona Wildcats, squaring off with another team from the Pac-12, the UCLA Bruins. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by Wildcats, ready to get this thing started and open the season. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. The Bruins offense takes the field to start this game off. And here comes the big fella, a staple of this aerial attack, Jesse. And he's a guy they can line up all over the field, David. There's matchups out there waiting to be taken advantage of. Yeah, and it's so nice to be able to do it. It makes it easy to play quarterback when you can feature a guy like this that's fast, big, and strong. The Bruins racing to the line in a hurry up. So, guys, over the last few years, there have been seismic changes to college football. Realignment, name, image, and likeness. But one of the biggest changes, the transfer portal. Yeah, and now guys that are unhappy are in a situation where they see something that they'd rather be in. Now you can leave, and there is no penalty. So a lot of recruiting, Jesse, on other people's teams that go on throughout a season. Yeah, it's 365, and it's a lot of pressure on coaches to re-recruit their own players as well to try to keep those rosters intact. But... The transfer portal completely flips rosters upside down. One team that struggles this year, if they get one key addition, it's a team potentially competing for a national championship next season. And the Bruins look to keep this drive humming. Another big play for this offense, and I'll tell you, historically, on the best UCLA units offensively, whether they're throwing it, whether they're in the shotgun, whether they're going up tempo or they're not, it's always so important to have balance. They've always had a guy they can turn around and hand the football off to to keep defenses honest. This guy with his power and his speed, he really gives this offense a lot of flexibility. Complete downfield. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Really nice looking pass. When I think back to the history of UCLA quarterbacks, I think about guys carving up defenses in the Rose Bowl in the perfect weather conditions with the gorgeous San Gabriel Mountains as a backdrop. And this guy right here, man, he's lighting defenses up this season, throwing it too. And in this game, he seems like he's dialed in. Dropping back, it's Garbers. Quickly complete. And they're able to force him out of bounds after a short pickup. They'll come to the line for the eighth snap on this opening drive, facing a third and short. Reads it, fires complete. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. And you go to old Mr. Reliable in the red zone, and you still have a chance to turn this into six instead of three. And third down, great job by this offense. Move the chains. Give yourself another fresh set of downs, but find the big targets in the red zone. Those guys make life easy on a corner. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. They go right back to it. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. Pressure in his face, and he lets it fly. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. And this one ought to be nice and easy, a 22-yard attempt. It's good. Easy call for the refs. And the first points of the day come on that field goal. And the kicker starts the year perfect. Nice job, nice way to start the year. The offense takes the football down the field. Yeah, you want to get touchdowns, but getting points on the first drive to start the season, really nice job by this unit. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. Here he comes from inside his own five. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. The Wildcats offense has the ball for the first time. 
Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Makes a connection. He'll get it up to about the 32-yard line before he stopped, and it'll be first down. Quick release on the RPO. Really important for a ranked team going into a hostile environment like this one not to give the underdog reason to believe. Yes, reason to believe, and don't give the fans reason to get jacked up and excited. Come out early, be in a business mode mindset. You gotta start fast, you gotta have a sense of urgency. You cannot come sleepwalking into an environment like this because if you do and you make some mistakes, this crowd will pounce on you and seize momentum. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. From the gun, the Gale looking for room. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Looking downfield, it's Fafita. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Nice job to pick up the first down, and they'll spot it at the 42. The receiver on the jet sweep. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Offense gets set for second down. Here's the handoff. They work that running game down to the 34. Let's give him three on the carry. This will be the ninth play of the drive coming up. It's a third and two. They'll try to bully their way for the first. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. They don't seem comfortable with the 50-yard field goal attempt, so they'll lead the offense out to try to get the first down. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. They'll try to salvage a field goal on this drive. Everything will have to be clean from 55 yards away. That is no good. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. Back on the field, ready to go to work. They had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line, so they just need to be a little bit more crisp here, Dave. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. They'll run it from the gun. Fights off a defender. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up with the pass. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. The Bruins will line up to punt it away. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. Let's see what he can do with it. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can definitely be frustrating. And I think it leads you to say, maybe I go for it more, but Jesse... I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish stronger. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable, too, especially as they get closer and closer down to the end zone. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. They'll try to run for it. Able to work it to the 39-yard line, and that'll be a first down. And the Wildcats come to the line with a fresh set of downs. The give to the running back from the shotgun. 
He stopped at the 49 after gaining 10. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. Give to the back. Nifty little dance step. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. Defense didn't maintain its discipline there, and they get into the neutral zone. It'll cost them five yards. Coach, coach, defense. Defense. defense just a little too eager, and that's five yards for the over. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Couldn't really get started there. Pick up of one to the 35. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. He is smashing people. He's already got 46 yards for them on the ground already in this first quarter. He looks as if he's ready to put up numbers. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The lost yardage leaves him with second and 11. He'll put the tight end in motion. He'll pull it on the read. And it's slipped out. The defense snatches it, and they're going the other way. And, man, I know he's going to be really upset with himself because you have all these goals and all these things you want to do, and you come in your first touch, man. You cough it up, but you got to put it behind you. This defense needs to come out now, be ready to play, fight back, build some momentum back the other direction. Line gets set, first down. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Line getting set on second down. Looking to pass. It's Garbers. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. They are lined up and ready to go and get things started here in the second. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop and they can get off the field on third and long. And he makes the catch, but he can't stay in bounds. That'll be incomplete. And the Bruins send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He only needs a sliver of daylight. He turns like that or why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. He'll keep it himself. And a good solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Picked up some yardage on the ground. Now here comes second down. Hand off from the gun. Nice move to keep moving. They make the stop at the 33, but 10 yards on that play and a first down. To the ground. He's got it again. Knocked down at the 29 after a pickup of four. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He's looking to throw. Zings it complete to the right. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Looking to move it through the air. With the catch, it's Conley. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down mark. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Movement here from the tight end. Hand off from the shotgun. Got some room in it. They'll finally get him stopped at the one-yard line. What a run there. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Arizona. Well, well, well. Somebody's been doing their box jumps. You ain't lying. Getting up in the air. Hey, listen. I'm taking a picture of that, saving it. That might be my screensaver on my phone. That vertical way up in the air.
They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 7-3. to three. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, want to update you on a game that went final moments ago. Auburn is going to get out of Dodge with a win. It's a shave that might have been a little closer than Tigers fans wanted, but a road victory feels great no matter what the final score is. A lot to go through in the film session this week for both teams. But, boy, it sure is going to be easier for the side that came away with the win. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. Wants to throw. It's Garbers. Got his man on the outside. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. The Bruins headed quickly to the line. They'll try to drive ahead on third and short. They'll pick up the first down as he gets it out to the 27-yard line. And the Bruins come to the line with a new set of downs. Fast motion from the offense. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. He's looking to throw. Got it behind the line. It's Harden. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion. Not the way they had it drawn up. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. It's complete. Found a bunch of room and got it to the 44-yard line. Finally, this offense starting to show a little juice. They've got a first and 10. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play, and I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. Caught in the backfield, it's Jones. And oh, did they know that one was coming. They'll knock him down in the backfield. They're going to throw it again. He's got his man. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. The quick out. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. A new set of downs after the completion. Man, and tight ends in today's modern college football are so difficult to stop because they're so much more athletic than they used to be. Today, they're just like big wide receivers. So defensively, how do you stop it? Do you have someone who has the physical dimensions to match up with this guy one-on-one? -on -one? You might not, and if you don't, are you comfortable putting a slower linebacker on him, or do you want to put a smaller DB that might not be able to tackle him? It's a real difficult puzzle to figure out. It'll be a draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And here comes the offense on second down. Back to pass. It's Garbers. And the heat gets home. They knock him down back at the 45. Well, the offense just set themselves up in a bad situation on this one. Second and third and long. There's not a lot of guesswork. Defense knows they're throwing the football. And you could tell on that pass rush, man, they were coming. And whatever they did on first and second down, don't do that anymore. Third and very long coming up. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Sturdivant. Really strong job by the defense. A negative play on third down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Making sure there's no return on that one as the punt sails out of bounds. Arizona has it back. The offense coming out to bear down. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make? Because they got to stop the bleeding right now. 
on third and short. They'll go to the power running game. He's up to 90 yards rushing in this first half, and he is making quite the impression in the opener. From the gun, running back gets to give. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. Softened him up with a run. Now to throw. Makes the catch. It's Murphy. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Wants to throw on third down. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback. And down he goes. We got a timeout here late in the first half. And they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Signals for the fair catch, and that's where they'll put it in play, just outside the 20. Here comes the offense on first down. Looking to throw, it's Garbers. Throws for the tight end. He's got an open man. And he'll have enough for the first down at the 42. The Bruins want to crank the tempo. Comes out throwing on first down. That's caught. It's hard. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. Clock's running, and they'll try to get to the line. Warp speed for second down. He's looking to throw. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. And they'll miss the connection here on third down. And the Bruins line up to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. And the punt hits at the six, and they can't down it, and it'll be a touchback. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. They'll throw it on first down. Quick completion on the out. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. This offense has a second down play. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Murphy. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. And quarterback receiver on the same page. Nice job seeing the zone, understanding the drag route concept. Easy pitch, easy catch. Makes the grab on the left. And he'll get it up to the 38. It'll be a first down. The Wildcats come to the line with a fresh set of downs. He'll come out throwing on first down. Couldn't find anybody to throw to. He'll just toss it away. It'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. To the air. It's Fafita. Released to the back. Got a man. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. The offense will stop the clock and use one of its timeouts. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. The offense calls timeout, and they won't have any more left this half. Now it's first and 10 from the 46-yard line. He's going to pass. Pulls it in. Nice completion here to this wide receiver, and you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. And you can give all the credit to the crowd for that one. Offense, no chance and call for the false start. It's third down, and the line to gain is to 36. From the gun, wants to pass. Pocket starts to collapse. And they couldn't hold him off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. Here's the punt, and that is a major league pop-up. That thing's going to bring rain. They'll have just enough time to get one more snap before the half. Going up top on first down. Feeling some heat. Feeling the heat as he lets it go. 
The pass falls incomplete, and that's how we'll finish this half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. All right, guys, a delightful first two quarters from there in Pasadena today. And the story of the half has been that elite corner. We were told he was tough to throw against. He's basically taken away an entire side of the field when he's out there, causing turnovers and getting physical. How often do we say that about lockdown guys? And how this offense schemes against him in this second half will be fun to watch. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at the Rose Bowl. The Bruins will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Arizona has it back. The offense coming out to bear down. Little touch pass to the receiver. Just searching and working for the running room as he gets it out to the 26. Now on second down. And you want to know what impact home field advantage can have? There it is. The offense will walk it back. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Off the RPO complete. They make the stop after the catch, and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Here they come, trying to convert a third and short from the 28. The RPO, it's complete. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the shotgun now, here's an inside gift. Got behind those pads and picked up three out to the 35. Got three on first down at second and seven. Defense a little too jumpy there, and they got into the neutral zone too soon. Contact in the neutral zone leads to that penalty. Good news for the offense. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Now staring at a third and short from the 40. They'll try to power their way ahead. They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. Arizona runs out the punt team. Here's the fair catch, and he'll make it close to the 20-yard line. First down for this offense. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Working that left side. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains for the first down. Really nice throw there. I'll tell you, UCLA, they've got an impressive history book of quarterbacks. Going all the way back to Rick Neuheisel. Troy Aikman is a name people will recognize. Cade McNown back in my day. And then recently, DTR was carving up defenses too, throwing it. you got to be able to make good decisions. you got to be able to deliver strikes through the air. And this guy right now is doing just that. From the gun, the running back has it. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. And the Bruins will hustle to the line. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. He's got the back in the middle. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. Sometimes a play like that, incorporating the back in the passing game, almost seems like cheating it's so easy. Yep, because you can run it against man or you can run it against zone. If you're patient, obviously, with zone coverage, he can come open. But man-to-man, -man, I like my chances of a running back versus a linebacker. So nice job by the quarterback. Nice job by the running back. Back to throw. It's Garbers. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Got it in the middle, it's Gilmore. Just carving up this defense and getting it down to the 24. This offense hasn't found the end zone yet. Starting to move, it's first and 10. Use the play fake, now to throw. Grabbed in the middle, it's Gilmore. 
He'll be brought down at the three-yard line. An explosive play in the passing game has him on the doorstep. The aerial assault continues. That's a fly. Touchdown, UCLA. And that one will give him the lead. And this offense gets on the board and the first passing touchdown of the season. And I feel pretty confident saying the first of many. This offense looks like they're in a good rhythm and this passing attack's going to be hard to stop. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point gives them a three-point lead at 10 to 7. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Guys, right back to your game after we update the nation on this one. South Carolina somehow, some way, found a way there in Columbia and picked up a much-needed victory. It wasn't a masterpiece, but let's be honest, it wasn't a loss either. 60 minutes of football and a convincing outcome and certainly a game with implications far beyond just the standings, fellas. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Gun room at the 35. To the 43-yard line and a first down for this offense. Moving quickly, trying to rattle the D. And you're going to hear this guy's name a lot. They're going to ride the big fella. He's such a stud. They're going to build the offense around him. This is just game one, but you're going to get a lot of big runs from this guy. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Dropping back, it's Fafita. They're bringing heat. He looks that one in nicely. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Fires to the middle. It's caught. Big play for this offense as they get it to the 32. Arizona right back to the line. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down. Awesome job by the quarterback getting through this direction. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. Pressure coming. Just too much heat that time, and they knock him down at the 31. No matter the sport, he epitomized a UCLA mantra, be quick, don't hurry. I mean, what a great job of being quick off the ball. Defensive lineman, you got to be quick off the ball if you want to be disruptive, get in the backfield, and get to the quarterback. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Looks as if the defense was a little too eager there, got into the neutral zone, and that'll be a five-yard penalty. Hey, coach, coach, the so the early contact for the defense, and they'll move it up five yards. In the gun, looking to throw on third down. Finds a tight end. And he couldn't quite get to the marker, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Thought maybe they would consider the field goal here, but the offense is staying out there on fourth down. They stop and show the marker, and they'll turn it over on down. The offense lining up for a first down play. Snags it quickly on the left. Moves up to the 34-yard line, give him a 10-yard pickup. Lining up from the 34 on first down. To throw, it's Garbers. Complete to the left. They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. They'll have it at the 49, just across midfield, first and 10. 
It's a draw. Plows through the defense. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. After picking up a couple at second and eight. He's looking to throw. Reacted well to the tip, but just couldn't squeeze the football. Instead of the turnover, it'll be third down. From the gun, wants to pass. He's going to fire deep. And how about that DB getting a hand in there and forcing the incomplete pass? The Bruins will send out the punt unit. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. No opportunity to run it back as the ball goes out of bounds. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. These last couple of drives, Jesse, have been about the defense making clutch stand. I think for this offense, they can stay aggressive knowing that their defense is going to bail them out time and time again here. Yeah, and especially when you go for those fourth down situations, you do that a lot of times because you know your defense can make stands, make stops. They did on that last possession for you. Catch in the middle, it's Murphy. Hey, listen, on offense, just take what the defense gives you. Quarterback looks out wide. He sees the DB way off of the receiver. Throw him the easy hitch pass. He'll take that completion. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. And it's incomplete, but the penalty flag has fallen in the holding zone. Let's see what the call is. So the penalty will not be enforced. The defense defines and stands on the result of the play. The Wildcats will have to send out the punt team. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. The offense set for a first down play. He's looking to throw it. And he makes the grab, but he's out of bounds. Incomplete pass. And the Bruins come to the line in the hurry up. And that, and that was good defense again. And unfortunately, we've been saying that all game long. Really, really good defense. Or, listen, you can spin on the other side. This offense has really been bad. Third down conversions, always a huge stat. And they've got a third and long from the 27. Looking for a man. It's Garbers. Gets it out fast. Still on his feet at the 45. And the big game. And they've got it on the 46. The Bruins with the first and 10. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America. And you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. Throwing right. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Now on second down. Gives it to the back on the draw. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Now facing a third and long. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Coming at him, and he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. The defense all over that loose ball, and now they're bringing it back. He's loose down the middle. Touchdown, Wildcats. And the defense doing work. You know, the one thing that really worries head coaches coming into week one is ball security. You're worried about execution. This offense has done some good things early in this game, but you cannot put the ball on the ground because the defense will make you pay like they did right there, taking it all the way to the house. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. The scoop and score. What a lift it can give to the defense. Not content to get the ball. They wanted to do something with it, and they did. And he takes this from inside the five. And the returner will be knocked down. They'll be able to get off one more play before quarter's end. They'll throw it on first down. 
makes the grab. They make the stop, but barely, and they might need to regroup as we have come to the end of the third quarter. That's the end of the quarter, and Arizona has the lead here. They're sitting in a strong position here with the lead. Let's take a look at our game summary. One quarter to go, and might we have the makings of a classic fourth quarter finish. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. The RPO, fire complete to the left. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. To the air, it's Garbers. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And they just want to give this guy a chance to make a play on third down. And more times than not, he is going to deliver. And he's so good, so efficient, such a good route runner, got the speed, got the complete game. So you definitely want to highlight him, and especially on those downs that matter the most. If something's not over quick underneath, find him, he'll make those contested catches. Wants to throw on first down. Looking downfield. He's got it. Touchdown, Bruin. And with that, they move out front here in the fourth. Yeah, and a nice job in the fourth quarter making plays. And a nice job being on the same page. QB, receiver. You could tell he broke with the football. He caught it in stride. Gets into the end zone. Nice pitch and catch right there. Nice chemistry by the QB and wide receiver. This one, the lead will be three. And it's good, and he's got the lead up to three late. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Two very different emotions inside the locker rooms of these teams who did battle today. Ohio State is going to get out of Dodge with a win. It's a shave that might have been a little closer than Buckeyes fans wanted. But a road victory feels great no matter what the final score is. The circle of life in college football, where one team moves on feeling like kings and the other heads home licking its wounds. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. And maybe a wise move not to even try the pitch as he's knocked down in the backfield. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity letter. UCLA will go back to work on offense. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know you hear all these stupid commentators like me. Nothing but green ahead. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. First down here for the offense. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Quickly to the tight end. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. And the Bruins want to move quickly. Well, this defense has tried to find ways to disguise their coverage and mix it up to try to confuse the QB. It's not working. That last completion, he's now got over 300 yards passing. He's got the tight end. And he's to the 48-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. These routes have some reads and adaptability built in, and the big fella found that cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down, quarterback, tight end, on the same page, gets the first down. From the shotgun, they'll run it. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Third down after the run. 
to the air. It's Garbers getting some heat. And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down. Fourth down coming up. The Bruins will call on their punt team. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. And that punt will sail out of bounds. Let's see where the official spot. Arizona has it back. The offense coming out to bear down. He'll do it himself. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. Went to the running game on first down. Now second down. He's looking to throw. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. The screen, by definition, is slow developing. That was just a little too slow. Yeah, quarterback just held on to it a split second too long. You want to invite the rush to you as a quarterback when you're executing that play, but you've got to be able to get rid of it, and you've got to be able to negotiate the rush and somehow, some way, find a way to get that receiver or running back the ball in his hands, and the QB couldn't get it done. And with this place rocking, the crowd forces start, a false right, start. Right, right, right. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Listen to this crowd just shaking the girders of this place, trying to help their defense. And now the ball's loose in the end zone. How about that alert play from the defense to scoop it up? A loose football in the end zone, and the defense there to pounce on it for six. You know, the defense is all about stopping teams, but when you have a chance to swing momentum, scoop it and score yourself, it is such a huge play. Yeah, you should go over the offense like, bro, we don't need you. We got this. We'll, we'll, we'll score ourselves if we have to. Great job by the defense. Doing what they need to do, and then we'll talk a little trash to the offense. And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. That is a defensive player's dream. Ball sitting there, chance to scoop it up, run with it, and they don't stop you until the band starts playing. On the run from inside his own five. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. Out of the gun, the give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Back to throw. It's Fafita. Rifles it down the middle. It's caught downfield. And he's brought down after a huge completion. Arizona in a hurry. This defense better not blink. I know they've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, but just look at who they're going against. This quarterback is one of the best in the nation. They cannot rest on their laurels. Someone's going to have to make a play. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. And the defense gets to the quarterback. And the defense loves being in this type of situation, right? You've got a big lead. It's in the fourth quarter. You know the opponent's going to be throwing the football, so you get your best pass rushers coming off the edge, using that speed, dipping and ripping, getting to the quarterback for another big play. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. He's got it. This defense giving up ground as he's finally knocked down at the 26. They absolutely had to have that third down to keep any glimmer of hope alive. And defensively, that's exactly what I want. Make you get the third down. The clock is your enemy. Multiple possession lead. That is right where I want this offense. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. Four wide out set, two on either side on second and ten. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. Got his man downfield. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eight. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Arizona. Arizona. Oh, Uncle Mo has changed sidelines. Look out, brother. Here's what happens, right? Something happens, gets you close in the ball game. The defense needs to come out here, get a stop, get that ball back for the offense. Oh, Uncle Mo on your side.
He'll try to tack on one more. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. After giving up that last touchdown, they still got the lead, but now feeling a little bit of pressure to answer with one of their own, David. Man, it gets a little bit tight. Listen, we're getting later in the ball game. This offense plenty last time. They got to find a few plays, Palmer, that they really love here. Steal some momentum back in this ball game. They do, David, and after watching their defense... Pulls it in on the right. Hit the gas, kid. Wide open to hit. And he'll run it into the end zone. Touchdown, UCLA. And I think in the pre-snap, I think both of these guys were on the same page. They had a look defensively that let them know we can pitch this thing way down the field. I'm going to go run under and make a big play. Yeah, and when I'm the receiver, I'm like, I'm open, right? I I'm, I'm going straight down the field. Throw me the football. I got the speed. I can beat this guy. You can tell they've done that so much in practice. They knew it was second nature, and they executed it perfectly. And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. This offense finds itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Makes his connection. This is the moment for this offense to put a drive together. It doesn't matter what's happened up to the point of this game, but you're trailing right now. You've got to put some points up on the board. This is where all 11 guys need to be playing together as one. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. To the air on first down. Got the quick pass. Really nice pick up there as they have it out to the 44 with the first down. Arizona right back to the line. Well, down two possessions. Good news is you get the completion. Bad news, though, did not get out of bounds. You know right now, saving the clock. That is at a premium for this offense. Ripping through the defense and getting it all the way down to the 24-yard line. I'll tell you, you cannot count this team out because of who's playing quarterback. When this guy's in the game, it's never over. Yeah, they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, but this dude can put up points quickly. First and goal, and this feels like their chance to make a game of it. Scanning the field, it's Fafita. Going for six. And he really wanted to get the touchdown there, but it's incomplete. Got stopped on first down. They'll try it again from the two. On the option. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Wildcats. Well, if the momentum hadn't shifted before, it certainly has now. It has, and now you got some game pressure, right? That's beautiful. Now the defense comes out, gets you a stop, get aggressive, but the offense a little bit of pressure now because they know if the ball goes back to the other side, they could lose this ball game. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, they draw closer. It's 31-28. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Kentucky is currently up big at this moment in what's shaping up to be a lopsided affair. They're up 14 over Florida State. We've got our eye on this one and everything else going on throughout the day. Guys? Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Out to the 35-yard line and a little extra breathing room with that 15-yard pickup. you got to be impressed by how you've seen this offense finish in this football game. They've been scoring points in the fourth quarter, just got a touchdown on their last drive, and there they rip off a big run. They are not letting off the gas pedal right now, and as a coach, you love to see that.
Smart move to keep it on the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And now on second down for this offense. Second down. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. They'll try the run. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Back to throw, it's Garbers. Fires to the middle. And this is going to be incomplete on third down. And the Bruins decide to punt it away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. Arizona has it back the offense coming out to bear down. They put it in the end zone the last time they had it, and now an opportunity to really take control of this game. You can feel the momentum shifting. If they were able to take the football here, drive it down the field, and score again, David, they would have all of that momentum on their side. And there's nothing about momentum that you can point for. Like, I, I don't understand it, but once it gets going in one direction, a lot of times it's so hard to swing it back the other direction. The momentum is real, and they got it. So the officials take a closer look and the replay booth will overturn the call. That pass is well off target. He got hit as he was trying to throw and they can't convert on third down. On fourth down, looking to pass. Here's a throw downfield late. Fires and picked off. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. Aggressive versus reckless is such a fine line when you're trailing and you need to make plays late in the game. The offense was reckless, turned the football over, and this one doesn't look great. UCLA will go back to work on offense. Three-point lead, put together a great drive here, Jesse. You can turn it into a two-possession game. Let's do that. Let's get a touchdown on the board. Let's find out where our playmakers have the best matchups, and let's exploit those, David. And it would put our defense in such a great position. Fourth quarter, two-possession lead. It makes it easy to play defense. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. They'll use a timeout here. You have to be certain at this point in the game. Dropping back, it's Garbers. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. Knocked it right through, showing that big range from 48 yards out got to make the opponent pay for turning the football over. And while this team would have liked to have scored a touchdown off that pick, I think they're pretty happy getting the field. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. They're trying to get to it. Just couldn't find an open man. He'll get rid of it, and it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Looking to pass on second down. He makes a catch. They stay aggressive and push their way out to the 33, and it's first down. Got to get lined up to spike it and stop the clock. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. He's back to throw on second down. 
Snagged in the middle. It's Conley. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. On third and long, he has to throw for it. He's going up top here late in the game. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He's taking a deep shot. Grabs it at the 25-inch stride. Well, they just drained all the suspense out of the fourth down conversion, moving the chains easily. He'll spike the ball to try to save every precious second he can. Here comes second down, and this crowd is turning it up a notch. Looking to throw, it's Fafita. He just threw that one away. Nobody was getting open. He had to live to fight another play in the red zone. It'll be third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Couldn't find anybody open, just threw it away. And that's a smart move. You want to avoid the turnover, especially in the red zone. It'll be fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And he holds it in in the end zone for the touchdown. All tied up, and now the kicker can win it. Man, how about the execution by this offense? Taking almost all of the clock, tying this football game, and now get that kicker loose. No pressure at all. Go kick that thing through the uprights, and you get the big W. On to attempt to try. The kicker off for the extra point. Timeout is called, and the clock is down to eight. And he knocks through the pressure-filled extra point. Now to see if they can hang on. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. Got to move quickly here. They need to get it to field goal range. He wants to throw. He wants a big play here late. Brings it down on the right side. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. They get a big win here and start the season on a positive note. You got to love that as the players. You come out, you have so much anticipation coming into the season, finally getting ready to play in front of a live audience. You're able to come out and execute and get this win under your belt. David, couldn't be a better way to start the year. And for the losing team, obviously, it's a little bit different. You have something to look at now to analyze where do I need to get a little bit better, but plenty of time still left in the season to improve and turn it around. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been.